Welcome to Flip It Furniture. My name is Amy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I update this old dresser. I'm going to be using black furniture wax. I'm going to uh, make a custom color. I'm going to use the original hardware, but I'm going to give them an awesome revamp. Um, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button. It helps support my channel and helps it grow. And enough blabbing, let's flip it. Seeing monsters at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though. First thing I do is remove all the hardware. Play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me. When the earth shakes. Then I remove all the drawers and I use my Dixie Bell's White Lightning Cleaner. This is my bottle with the mixture. This dresser is from the 1970s, so it's about 50 years old. The absolute best way I find to lock in any odors is by using shellac. It covers it completely. I think this is one of the most important parts of making an old dresser new again. So here I mix equal parts of Aubergine and Plum Crazy. I just use an already used 8 ounce jar of paint. I mix half and half and then I shake very well. And I make this beautiful custom berry color. Here I apply my first coat of the berry color, and then when it dries, I apply another coat, so a total of two coats. Before using black furniture wax, I need to seal my drawers. So instead of using um, my polyurethane with a brush, I'm gonna make my life easy and just spray this clear coat with the spray can. It's just easier to get in the grooves this way. I bring the whole dresser back inside. I seal the entire base with my water-based polyurethane. When my first coat dries, I apply another coat. So that's two coats total for the base. At this point I only had a tiny bit of water-based polyurethane left and I wanted to do the top. Sometimes when you do the top you get streaking, so I used about a tablespoon of my berry color and I just added it to my top coat can. 
This is a great tip for getting a nice, even, smooth finish. Now it's time for the black wax. I use my Dixie Bell's Besting Wax in Black. I apply the wax in all the grooves where I want the details to pop. Then I take a damp cloth and I just wipe it off. It stays in all the crevices and then I let it dry overnight. I repeat this process with all six drawers. My wax has dried overnight, and now I want to seal the fronts of the drawers. I'm all out of my water-based polyurethane, so I'm going to use what I have, which is the Dixie Bell's Clear Coat in Satin. This is my favorite clear coat, and I actually save it for really light colors. Um, I usually use it for white, but since it's what I have, I'm going to use it for this. The two top drawers are missing knobs, so I ordered these little crystal knobs from Amazon. They're very fair price. They actually come with two different size screws, but both of them were way too long for this, as you can see. To solve this problem, I just go into my toolbox and I grab a nut, like you see here, put it in the back, screw it in, and it's a perfect fit. Now I want to customize my hardware. And I need to use slick stick because I know I'm going to use chalk paint. And with slick stick, it helps chalk paint adhere to pretty much anything, metal, plastic, mirror, whatever. To paint the base of the hardware, I'm going to use Dixie Bell's Caviar, which is the blackest of the black. It's the darkest color they have. Now I'm gonna use my gilding wax to give it some highlights and I'm using this one in silver. I get it from Amazon. This gilding wax is great. All you need is your fingertip. It goes on so nice and smooth and it stays on pretty much forever.
Now that all my handles are finished, I'm gonna spray them with a clear gloss sealer. If you like this video, I would be so happy if you hit the subscribe button. That way it helps my channel grow and help support me. And I will see you all in the next video.